Oh guys, so I'm playing Fire Thunder at the moment and these are a few tricks that I think you should know when you are playing them. And firstly, I'm going to show you the jump grapple. So I'm going to show you it first and then I'm going to show you how to do it. So this is basically how it looks. Here I go. That is just a simple example of how to do the little jump grapple that most people probably use. So you, you probably saw how far I went. I kind of started here somewhere around here. I'm just going to... Do nothing. I'm, not, I'm just gonna press W, I'm gonna press Q, grapple, and then I'm just gonna go forward. So do you see where I like landed? I landed here when I just did the normal thing and I landed basically there, over there, when I did the jump grapple. So basically what you want to do, you want to wait for the grapple to like literally grab the ground and then you just press, you just jump. So I, I think my mic will pick it up, but I'm gonna grapple the ground and I'm just gonna click spacebar. I hope that worked. I hope you heard that. But I literally, as the grapple hits the ground, you just click spacebar. And it's not going to work probably the first time. It didn't work for me the first time. But in due time, it will work. Okay, guys. So when you are doing this, remember, you're not pressing spacebar single-handedly. You are also doing everything at the same time. So you are going forward with W. You're pressing Q to, like, grapple. And you're doing the spacebar so you can, like, get the height. So you're, so you're not just pressing spacebar single-handedly and ignoring the other stuff. You're doing everything at the same time. You're just, you're basically gonna go in a circle and fling yourself. So that's also gonna take a little time. How you do that is basically the same thing. You grapple the ground, you wait for it, but now you look towards a direction you wanna go. So I literally just look in front of me, but now you wanna look in that way. So I'm gonna look that way and grapple as well and do the jump grapple. So that is basically the, the basics that you need to know. I landed, um... At the same spot, I think I landed here and I almost landed here, but I'm gonna try and again and I'm gonna try and get some distance. I'm gonna go back to this rock and then I'm gonna try again. Somewhere here. Using grapple. There we go. So that's how you do the like basic jumping with Pathfinder. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you guys, you can actually fling yourself from zipline and also um go on the zipline itself. So if you literally just press Q and you go towards the zipline without pressing anything else, you just go on the zipline. That is, I think that's a cool thing that you can learn while playing Pathfinder if you want to run away from something, if you want to chase someone, it's cool. So one thing you should also know, when you are trying to do this fast with Pathfinder, the zipline actually cancels. Look at this. If you grapple there and you look fast to the other direction, the zipline cancels. Look at that. It just cancels and your thing is on a cooldown. So if you want to do that, try and be patient, I guess. That's the only tip I can give you. Don't try and break your link, you're probably gonna die. But yeah, that's why that thing cancels. So I'm gonna try and use this zipline and get to the other one. Let me just try and do it. Ooh, there we go. So you can go from zipline to another zipline. It's quite useful to use. You don't get it right every single time. But yeah, it's super useful. And... Yeah, so now I'm good. the last thing I'm gonna show you is that you can use a zipline to get some heavy distance on anything. Using grapple. So yeah, you can get some heavy distance if you use ziplines to like go some places. But try and get some height when you are using that zipline. So yeah, guys, that's the tips. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.